Santa Ector County Law Enforcement Center will soon be selling e-cigarettes to inmates. The e-cigarettes will act as a behavior tool and form of income for the jail to help keep the inmates locked up and improve inmate culture. The Ector County Commissioner's Corps approved the selling of e-cigarettes to inmates at the Ector Law Enforcement Center. They're uh, correction grade. The inmate, it's got a bar barcode on it. They uh, will scan it. The inmate has to give this particular uh, unit back to get another one. If it's altered in any way, they won't get another one. All of the revenue will go towards the jail at no expense to taxpayers. Ector County Judge Justin Fawcett says it will offset costs to keep the inmates locked up. Supplies it takes that we have to pay for the inmates, that's, you know, their beds, their pillows, all of those types of things that the taxpayers are on the foot for. Uh, and so we're going to certainly look to relieve all taxpayer items to the best of our ability. Sheriff Mike Griffiths says they're buying the e-cigarettes at $3.85 apiece, selling them for around $14. They'll start with 1000 and see how it goes. I hope we sell a bunch of them and, and make a lot of money. The, the vendor said, y'all y'all may make a million dollars a year uh, selling these. One e-cigarette is the equivalent to one pack of cigarettes. Fawcett says other counties have used this before as the e-cigarettes act as a behavioral tool. Whenever you have inmates who cooperate, inmates who are in good terms, uh, it helps with our jailing numbers, our staff. Uh, if you have easier inmates, then, then the, you don't see as high of turnover of, among staff. And Griffith says the e-cigarettes are fairly indestructible, basic enough to hopefully not pose a safety threat.